Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with content types in Office 365 based on the new SharePoint 2013. Uh, as you'll notice when you click around the interface here, when you go into Site Settings, there are no content types here. And of course, if you want to do page layouts and um, work in a structured way, you do want to have content types. But that's one of the few things remaining in SharePoint Designer that you actually can work with. There you have content types as before. So content types do remain, but they're trickier to work with in SharePoint 2013. So I'm going to show you this. So the first thing you need to do is create a new content type as before. I'm going to call that a Calmstrom product content type. You'd inherit from the publishing content types and it should be a page describes a Calmstrom product, right? And to make it easier to find my content types, I'm going to put them in a new group here. Calmstrom.com content types, all right? Now, in order to um, easily find your content types, I would suggest just um, filtering on the Calmstrom.com content types here. There you have one there. You can go into that and edit columns. Actually, strangely enough, if I go back here, you see I can actually go to the web page. So if I click on the administration web page, the uh, SharePoint 2013 actually has that UI also to modify the content type if you, if you prefer that. So I can go in and add another column here. So I'm going to add uh, from a new site column and just create a, a column called product name comes from product name single line of text and I'm just going to put that in an existing group which I already have here the camstrom.com site columns there we go and okay there we go. Now I have my no co new content type and of course I should do a lot more with this content type but I just want to show you the steps on how to work with content types in a publishing site in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. So now that I have this content type I need to go into this um, new site settings thing here under under the design manager and here we go edit page layouts and there I can create a new page layout and that's gonna um, be a web page as you see I can't select the content type right here so I have to select web page here and then go in and change it afterwards for this to work so click OK there there we go now I can go in and um, edit properties of this one there we go here I can select all the content types and camstrom.com product. All right. Now that I have that, uh, I go back into SharePoint Designer and find my uh, page layouts. There we go. I can just find the ones that are recently changed. I need to refresh here in order to get the latest one. There they are. Uh, you see, I have actually two page layouts being created. Here's one HTML page layout and then there's another one called just page layout. And the one I need to work with is this Comstrom.com product page. So if I go in and edit that it's of course all just HTML and what I need to do now is modify this page here down in the area that says placeholder main. You see all the divs that the page is made up of and here's the placeholder page title and title area and a little further down here we have placeholder main and that's what's going to be visible in the middle of the page so there's the title snippets and these snippets they're um, done using the snippet editor thing here let's see there's a link to that somewhere up here there we go here's the link but of course I can also find it by going into the design manager and work with my design here. So if I click on this one, 
and go in, come into the preview page and there we go uh, the snippets and now if I want to display this new field that I created before the camstrom dot um, com here you see the page fields right there camstrom product but that's not displayed on the page yet so what I need to do is display that and there I take this HTML snippet snippet and rem copy all that copy the clipboard there and then I allow access to that and then I go into the SharePoint designer again and put there that where I want it in the page so let's see placeholder main that's where we want to be there we go placeholder main and now I'm just gonna paste that in there and that's where it's supposed to be uh, now just to uh, do something with this I can go ahead and put a style on here of course I should reference a style sheet and all that but I'm just gonna do something now to see that I can modify this and I'm just gonna make it green the whole div becomes green then of course so now I save that and what I need to do now also is go in and actually publish that for it to work now I need to go out to the back to the page layouts which I'll of course find under site settings and page layouts and find the modified one quite a few steps to this but um, there you go the, I need to go in and publish a major version of the HTML file now when I go into the preview again on the design master and manager and edit page layouts click on this one it actually has the Camstrom product name there in green as we saw now finally I can go in back to my site now I'm going to create a new page add a page and then finally I'm going to go in and change the layout on this page layout I'm going to make it the camstrom.com product page there we go and here is my camstrom.com product name I'm going to make that document tagger and here I can work with the other thing so I'm going to uh, make that document tagger as we saw there and now I'm just going to go in and save this page actually I'm going to go save and publish let's see there we go document tagger and it's in green quite a few steps to get started with your own content type and your own page layout but then you're back to the way it was in SharePoint 2010 and you have the full benefit of working with content types also in SharePoint 2013. Thank you for watching this demo.